YouTube video of the incident has now grown to more than 4,350,000 views since it was first posted just two days ago. And that doesn't even include the tens of thousands of reposts. And there are brand new developments even as we speak, including the name of the police corporal revealed. Channel 8's Monica Hernandez joins us live now from McKinney Police Headquarters with the very latest. Monica? Ron, a lot of new developments. I can tell you that representatives from the NAACP are inside this police station right now. They just walked in minutes ago, and they're talking with the police chief. They say they have a lot of questions for him, and they want to know what details he can release. And at the same time, the officer who's on paid administrative leave is also inside the police station. He's being questioned right now by detectives. Well, McKinney Police confirm Corporal Eric Casebolt is the man you see in this video throwing a 15-year-old girl in a bathing suit to the ground and holding her there with his knee on her back. Then he pulls out a gun on two teens who approach. He's one of a dozen officers who responded to a disturbance call about a fight at a McKinney pool party, but a teen organizer says Casebolt was the only one who went too far. We're learning he was on the force for a decade and was a patrol supervisor. This afternoon, the police department is still getting Getting bash, backlash, even death threats. They say thousands of emails have come in and they're getting a call every 12 seconds, mostly asking for Case Bolt to be fired. Police have promised they're going to be transparent, but they say a thorough investigation takes time. And we know the party was advertised on social media and even had a DJ. The organizer's mother says it was supposed to be a cookout and the HOA gave permission, but the HOA says that's not true. A police say neighbors told them the teens weren't from the neighborhood and didn't have permission to be at that pool. But there are still a lot of questions this afternoon about exactly what led to this. And we know that in just a few minutes, a press conference is expected to get underway here outside uh, the police department in McKinney. The NAACP plans to speak out about what they learned from the chief as soon as they walk out. And we know there's also a protest planned tonight at, an, at a school at 630 and that's when people who support those teens will ask for justice for youth. We'll continue monitoring this story and we'll have team coverage later on in our later newscasts. Uh, live in McKinney, I'm Monica Hernandez, Channel 8 News.